Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm uh, about to de-restrict the RPM or the ref limiter. Uh, what I've done is I put this out of here. You can, uh, it's attached like this. And you can loosen it up with the help of a screwdriver eventually. Uh, like, like so. And then you can pull it out. And this here seems to be the ref limiter. Uh, I tried to pull it out, but it didn't really work at once. But I also want to fix it just in case I want to uh, make it go stock again. So what I'm going to try is I'm going to cut this wire and then check if it will go any faster and even start. Uh, but this should be the one. So and if it's, uh, if I cut it and if it seems to be wrong, then I can just uh, reattach it again, tape it off and. It should be fine again. So I'm quite curious. And I'm pretty sure you're quite curious too. So see you in the next uh, part with the with my chest cam on and see what the speed will be. Uh, standard speed is around uh, 50, 53. When you have the wind in your back, maybe 54, 55. Uh, so I'm curious what it will be uh, and if it still sounds alright. So um, well, see you in the next one. Right, welcome. Uh, give you a quick tour of the better track 50cc. As you can see, this is it. So, what have we got? Uh, or what have I done actually? Um, I de restricted the RPM or the rev limiter. I just use a coin to open it up right here, and it pops up a little bit. Then you can take the seat off that easy. And I, I hope you can see it. I taped it all up, so I cut the wire in between here, so I didn't unplug it, but I did cut it. Uh, taped it up again and reconnected it. It can be a pain in the ass to actually uh, try and reconnect this one. To get it off is easy, but on you have to wiggle with your hands under here. So make sure you got enough room for that. Um, if you want to reattach the seat, you just put this like, like so. Like the screw is uh, vertical again, or like in this way, in this position. Do it like that, then just give it a good bang. And as you, see, as you can see, it's, uh, it's all good again. Okay, so we got the mirror, we got the horn, uh, normal lights or city lights or something, big lights, your blinkers. This is for, uh, you know, give some light signs to other people. This is your choke. This is your clutch. This is your gear shifter. Goes for one down and then the rest is up. So two, three, four, five, six. If you want to back a neutral all the way down and a little push upwards. And you can see on your dashboard, which I will show in a bit, uh, that the green end light is coming on, which means it's a neutral. So this is your oil tank. Here and goes the uh, two-stroke oil. You got disc brakes at the front. Also at the back, I uh, loop my chain up with a uh, white grease. As you can see, it's become already a little bit dirty, but <laughs> no, that's because I use it. There's your exhaust. There seems to be a restriction. In between here I, I didn't pull that one out I might do so maybe for uh, for making a video on it uh, oh, and by the way I think I have to say cutting the rev limiter is of course illegal so I hope they don't see my license plate here <laughs> That's, uh, uh, you have uh, upside down uh, a fork on the front this is your front brake this is of course for your throttle this is your kill switch to in emergencies turn off your engine the shop that told me it's better to do so with your key with your ignition key so you've got a key right here right now it's uh the steering lock is unlocked if you put it like this and you press it in like so and it's locked and when you do it like on this circle here then you're ready to start uh, this bike doesn't have a battery, but it's only kickstart. 
which is here. I kick started in neutral and without pulling in the clutch, otherwise it won't start. This is your rear brake. These here, of course, are some stands for people who want to sit on the back of your bike. And that's the front. I will start it for you. Uh, oh yeah, by the way, of course, your, for your fuel, if it's like this, the fuel is turned off. If you place it in this position, the fuel will flow towards your engine. And if your engine runs out, it has a, a six or six and a half liter tank. If it drops on a level of two liters, I think it will go into reserve. So then you would have to place this like so to the front and it's in reserve you can use the last part of your fuel always when you turn the bike off and leave it standing for a while turn off uh, the fuel line so okay so right now it's the neutral you can actually see it when i when i move it there's a little light here which says neutral So you don't need to pull the clutch or anything, just uh, right here, kick this one down, like so, and voila, it starts up, and turning it off, and it goes again, with the key, so it's that easy. Next up we'll be, uh, I will be driving here on this road, because the engine is warmed up. Um, I want to warm it up before going over my so-called ref limiter so uh, so then you can see what the speed is I uh, I'm quite a well sort of heavy guy compared to younger guys I'm uh, 85 kilos so if you're lighter you might go faster the wind is coming from that direction so I think I shouldn't be having too much trouble with uh, you know not getting a high enough speed uh, but then you can see what it does I already know already tested it um, so yeah, I'll show you that in the next shot. happens when I want to do something someone is approaching this uh, road is virtually always empty except for now of course so we'll do that again <laughs>
do that another time. speed that I can actually get but shows it a bit to be able to reach uh, 64 65 all-wheel drive watch the other side and then go back again when I got the wind in my back and then you can see uh, how fast it goes at that point so um, I'll just uh, cut this video off and then I'll resume the video when I drive with the wind in my back so see you in a bit let's go again That worked well. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you uh, next time. Then. Goodbye.